So it is the next morning and just packing all my stuff up. Just put my tent up. It was right here by the creek. Um, ended up being a an awesome day. We went by that museum and then that schoolhouse and ended up deciding like at the last minute to hike a big mile day. So it was between like 18 and 19 miles. Um, I don't know where <laughs> Lucky and Crunchy and Gushers are and Pickles, who actually hasn't been on the vlog yet, but they were gonna stop at a campsite around 15. And I was hiking with Sasquatch, and when we got to that campsite, it was basically full. So we decided to hike like four miles down um, and ended up camping near this um, lady and her dad. So it was really fun to hang out with them last night and um, their Sasquatch hammock. So <laughs> it's just a really cool place to camp. Um, today should be another good day. I think I'm going to hike like 17 miles to the next shelter, but it's going to be kind of a hard hike. I think it looks like a lot of hard ups, um, but it should be okay. So there's tons of bail, bail at points bes besides that, but, um, yeah, feels weird to hike faster than my friends and not be in the same space as them but it's kind of nice that I can just relax and let them catch up um, which is a good feeling because usually I'm the one trying to catch up to them so I don't have a service I'll text them when I get up on the mountain but it should be a good day so this is what I'm having for breakfast it's like a Starbucks mocha thing and lucky charms <laughs> back out of bag and I'm so glad I did. It's so good. This is the coffee I'm drinking and it's really delicious. This stretch of trail takes us around 36 miles from a campsite at Reed Creek up to mile 576 where we got off to go to the Mountain Garden Hostel and then to a campsite around mile 588. That's all in a three-day stretch. So I'm starting out on my hike today and I'm going to try to do 17, which... I don't think I've ever done like two big days back to back. So that would be exciting. Also, it looks pretty strenuous on the map. So holding my plants loosely and seeing what happens. I'm also ahead of my friends, which makes me really sad. Um, I'll have to call Gushers when I get some service and see how far back he was. I don't know how I got so far ahead. Um, I think I was averaging like probably closer to a mile and a half per hour a few weeks ago. And then now I'm like almost two and a half miles per hour. It's like definitely two miles per hour. So somehow I was just walking fast, which is a really good feeling. Um, so we'll see what happens. There is a really cool hostel coming up, like 70 miles, called Woods Hole. I definitely want to take some time at that shelter, so, or that hostel. Um, so I might try to figure out how many days until I get there and if I can go ahead and... Oh, there's this cool campsite right there. Oh, so funny, like, you walk right up the path and you see, like, a really neat campsite but there's everywhere there's really good campsites um but anyway so I'm gonna try to see if I can get reservations at Woods Hole and try to figure out like when would be a good time to get there because I'm in the middle of the bubble and it's probably hard to get in anywhere these days but anyway it's gonna be a great day oh my gosh this is so funny it's like a little gnome village at the bottom of this tree. <laughs> oh, it's kind of cute. She's in a little camper. The little fairy is, she's got a camper. She's sitting on top of. I feel you, fairy. I want to live in a camper too. I love some trail mail for the hikers behind me. A little smile for their day. So something I've been reflecting on lately and 
<clears throat> I don't know if I talked about this yesterday, but is being the predator, not the prey. So I think so many times as women, especially, we feel like we're not empowered. We can't be in the woods alone. Um, there's so many things we can't do. We don't have enough strength to do specific things. And while I do think that men and women complement each other and there's a lot um, of things that women are better at and men are better at, that doesn't mean that we're like some weakling out here who can't take care of herself. And I feel like for a while I did rely on those around me um, for so many things. And the reality is I'm so much stronger than I realize we all are. Yesterday as I was hiking up the mountain and didn't have to stop and I passed like four people instead of being passed. And you know how hard this trail has been for me, especially. I felt like the wolf, I felt strong. Um, I mean, as humans, you know, God gave us the right to, um, gave us brains. He gave us ways that we can think through problems. He made us strong. He gave us the ability to do something like hike fourth of the Appalachian Trail and I'm a quarter of the way there. So, um, it feels good to break through kind of this, these barriers that I feel like I had put on myself and, you know, realize that you're going to have hard times in life. And if you want to go after dreams that are kind of out of the norm, it might be really hard. You got to push through and there's something beautiful on the other side and it's going to make you stronger. It's going to make you better. It's going to make you just live an amazing life and live an amazing story. And so, man, I feel like I've pushed through something really, really big. Um, and I'm feeling really good, like really good. So if you're facing a hard time in life for whatever reason, we all go through those. You're not alone, but just keep going and there will be something beautiful and rewarding on the other side. So just talked to Lost and Found, Lizzie, and um, we haven't been hiking together since like before the Smokies, but we've been kind of around each other and I really miss her. Kind of just got off, off sync with each other, but um, as far as miles go, but I, I love that girl. But anyway, I saw on Instagram that she sprained her ankle. So I gave her a call just to check in and she's like 50 miles back now. Um, so, I know she's going to be fine and she's going to take a few days off just to rest it, but she'll catch up and everything. But, um, kind of a bummer. And I mean, that could easily happen. And, you know, I've had taken a few pretty bad falls myself, but it kind of stinks when you're like mentally and emotionally there, which she is, but then physically she has an issue that keeps her from, um, it's going to keep her from hiking for a few days. So yeah, just praying for her and, Hoping that she starts feeling better ASAP. I show off my new piece of gear. It's an umbrella, which I got for the rain, but really comes in handy during like super sunny days uh, where the sun's just beating down on you like it is here. That's a walk through a big pasture and a road right now, but I'm glad that I have it. Oh, something in the grass down there because I'd be just getting pelted by the sun. So kind of nice for the sunny days too.
a lot of cow dung. <laughs> Just step over. a great little hike through the pastures but <clears throat> I did get pretty hot and um, <laughs> the last little bit was like straight up hill so it's really good to be back in the woods and in the shade um, taking a little break to eat second breakfast which is Krispy Kreme donut bites um, but there are like a ton of bees around me and I hope I don't get stung today <laughs> I feel like I'm probably going to, because they won't leave me alone. I just jumped into this river and it felt so good on my feet. They were hurting from the rocks from yesterday. Here's the creek. I got in there, started walking around. Then a guy that was sitting over here told me that he just saw a snake get in as I was swimming. Passing over these things to get over the fence and it's like an adult jungle gym. So something else that's kind of weird lately is that the bubble is spreading out. So we were all together after Damascus. Everybody's in the same spot for the most part. But now we have friends that are 40 miles ahead and we have friends that are 50 miles behind maybe even more than that. Um, so it's kind of weird to not be, kind of have everybody in the same spot. It makes you like, well, do I hike faster? Do I hike slower? I just don't know. But um, just, I think it's a little bit freeing too, because it's like, oh, hike your own hike. You're gonna see these people at some point. I'll take a zero and see the people who are behind me, or I won't take a zero one day and I'll see the people who are in front of me. So it's kind of a freeing thing in a way to not just be trying to, you know, camp at the same spot every night, but also it's kind of sad because I already miss those wonderful, wonderful people that we've been around the last couple weeks. So we made it to this little hostel, the Bear Garden Hiker Hostel. There's a sign for it. We're going to stop and get ice cream or a snack or something. trash can. Sweet. That's cool. There's a chapel. Then we got a cross, my man Jay Z. Okay, so you two, real quick. This is super cute. It's like a tiny house in here. Hiker hangout. Yeah, I got this girl coming. It looks like this. So good. And they have like, oh my gosh, they got some good stuff in here. But I need to eat for my food bag. 
Oh, okay. All right. I like a jam. Look at these sandwiches they have. I'm gonna get one of these. Try to you down. The owner here is telling me about his mission work in Haiti, which is super cool. And he also was telling me about this chapel um, that they have for hikers. So I asked him if I could come check it out, even though I'm not staying here. And he said I could. I think one of the things about the trail that's been hard is that it sometimes feels like I'm the only Christian out here and I have some friends who are but it's just really encouraging to see this on the trail and then um just feel encouraged that I don't know God's just so present and it's great to like, I've actually been trying to pray over people if they're having a hard time. And I ask them, you know, can I pray over you? And everyone said yes. But it's been cool to kind of make it a ministry and pray for my friends so they can feel God's love and Holy Spirit presence while they're hiking. Um, but, yeah, this is cool. It just feels very peaceful here. Good. Ooh, I'll clear it up. I'm gonna go to shower soon. That looks no. Does he have to dart? No, I'm having to No, I mean, he was. Oh, you. Oh. should have been behind. Do you, do you guys think. Is there a chance that he's. That's caught you. So we're supposed to stop at this hostel for an hour and see you lunch? If I don't leave now, if I don't leave, I never will. So, bye. <laughs> I think it's like five hours later or something. I actually was gonna make it to the shelter for lunch and then I stopped to jump to the creek. Then I got stuck into this hostel vortex. It's been an amazing day. I'm not listening. I'm going hiking. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to go hiking. Got at least five miles to go. Not going to make it the 11 more miles, but hey, that's okay. It's been awesome. How's your day, St. John? It's been pretty good. Not bad. Got held up here for a little while. <laughs> kind of forgot that I was hiking, but now I'm going back to hiking. So. We're going back to hiking. Yes, the trail is calling. All right, back on trail. Well, I guess I'm yellow blazing for a second, but I'm walking back on trail. It's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a good hike. It's already getting cooler. That was the thing, it got so hot. Everybody overheated walking through those pastures. But I will say my umbrella helped me not overheat. So I wasn't feeling as bad as everyone else, but I'm feeling like five miles. That sounds lovely. This is where we're gonna try to stay. Lick Creek, but the bridge is washed out. Her, it wasn't bad, but I did hear a bear got someone's bag last night. So, yikes! Onward. Good morning! So, just out on my hike today. I'm about two miles in. And last night it was so hot. So, um, it was getting late. And we all as a group ended up camping like a mile or so past the shelter. So, we didn't. I didn't end up doing my 16 mile day like I thought I would. But it was fun to stay with friends. And not hike um you know away from them which was cool and Gush was caught up um late last night so that was cool I've been hiking with him a little bit today 
it's a beautiful day hiking through this beautiful forest and I just feel in a really good mindset like I feel like I'm enjoying sleeping out here and it's warm at night and um the group we've been hiking around is like super chill and laid back and they play music around the campfire at night and in the morning and no one's really stressing out about making plans and um or miles or any of that they're just kind of enjoying being out here so um i think those chill vibes are rubbing off on me and i think i'm just accepting living out here in the forest and spending more time in silence just listening to the birds you probably hear them behind me but it's really really nice just enjoying life I really like Virginia and we're about to get to a creek um, I think we're gonna jump in and go swimming so that's a nice part of the day always is when you get a little chance to swim and cool off so um, yeah life is good Way to go, St. John. Oh my gosh. Easiest sport I've ever done. <laughs> That's awesome. That kind of just made my day. That yeah, really that was really, really cool. cool. <laughs> I feel so much better. Not yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's so nice. Kind of gosh. Finally made it to the shelter. Oh, this is so cool. Am I wet? No. Do you need me to look at something? Yeah. Wait, they told me to look at this and look. There's a freaking snake up there. Glad that uh, I didn't s decide to stay here the other night. That would have been kind of a bummer. This is a really cool shelter though. Oh my gosh, that's in my video. Gross. If you hear a lot of farting in my videos, it's not me. It's because I hike with disgusting voice. So. It says this mountain sucks and I'm leaving. Hot, sweaty, need water. Wanted to man manifest a positive attitude today, but so far, no luck. I'm always oh grateful to be oh out here. Oh gosh. You know? Oh my gosh. My body can do this. You reek, man. <laughs> what? It smells so bad. That wasn't me. And it smells like Doritos that went wrong. Yes. Yeah, misdirection and hobbit. Um, how do they get ahead of us? It smells so bad, but here's the thing. We just hiked up a really, really hard heel hill. And I felt like I was gonna die. I was like sweating the whole way. How was it hill for you guys? Sure. Uh, How was it hill oh, for it's you? It's hot. It's really hot. It's real hot. <laughs> you got sweat on your face. Oh yeah, it's real hot. <laughs> Mortis, how's your day been? Great. Pretty hot. Do you like that uh, hike? The no, climb up the hill? Someone literally removed all the rocks from the trail and put them right there. Thank you. Ha, 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 ha.
Okay. <laughs> Are we picking up one more? Oh no, we lost something. <laughs> we did? Was it a bag? Oh, don't lose your hat, man. I smell his hair's right here. So, so we're on the back track. of a truck. <laughs> and that was probably my biggest meltdown on trail right before we got it. <laughs> but everything's fine. Everything's fine. Look how many people are here. <laughs> It is like being in Haiti again. Really prefer right now. Okay. It smells like bubble gum. Yeah, it's like yeah. bubble gum that you get. Like the, like the, <laughs> just, <laughs> Oh yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Please, please do not. <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> please be careful. <laughs> oh my god. I'm being honest, please be careful. <laughs> not too many friends die from climbing. Wait, you think I'm gonna die from 12 feet up? No, but you get seriously injured. I'm gonna shoot. <laughs> you should try it. I'm good. Oh I'm my gosh. out of climbing shape tremendously. You never held a climbing shape. That's true. I did climb that waterfall, and like, Seeker was like, How'd you do it? We're at this hostel, and <laughs> these dudes are climbing. Climbing this. <laughs> the raptors. Oh, wait, no, you can't see him. No, you just see me. <laughs> Both of y'all's upper body strength right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I used to be able to do 20 push ups and I can barely do any push ups. And I used to be able to do 20 push ups. Just put the foam out. Just put the, put the foam down. Oh my gosh. There's a big so thing of foam behind you. There's boys. Let them have it. No, he might hurt himself. When he goes through the floor, <laughs> Mortis is in the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you don't do swing dancing. There's a way that you can, like, <laughs> do, like, you do, this is you do, like, like, one, two, swing, and it's, like, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Isn't that cool? Oh, I missed it. It's been a fun hostel stay, but it's time to start hiking again. 
so then the pickup truck. <laughs> Bye, hustle. You were great. trail after a little hostel stay last night um it's about 11 30 in the morning and um i'm actually having kind of a little bit of a medical thing from dehydration i believe i have damaged my kidneys is what a nurse told me so uh probably not gonna hike a whole lot today um but i definitely need to be drinking water for that situation so uh I feel okay now. So back on trail. Hike these five miles. They just take like all the rocks in Pennsylvania and bring them to Virginia? Or what? <laughs> oh my gosh, we're sitting by this really cool creek. And we're getting trail magic. We're getting chips. So, so exciting. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh. We'll be back here for a while. Oh. <laughs> trail boss trail. Interesting. In the 80, here we go, dude. North. Oh wait, south and north. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. What? Oh. Another gnome village. <laughs> it's a little mouse hole. <laughs> so we just got to this spot that's like oh <laughs> an amazing campsite. It's random. And look at this view. It's gonna be a full moon tonight. So we have another friend coming. We're trying to figure out hammock mm. spots. Intense spots, but I think it'll work. It's so pretty. Oh